Hey, HD Popcorn here. Today, I will tell an action science fiction film called Barren Wasteland, Road to Fury. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and fare thee well. Before that, grab some popcorn with you before watch this video. Toward the start of the film, we see a huge desolate land. A youngster named Jerome Holm describes to us that he hasn't seen this land when it was green, however his dad has. Quite a while back, it used to be home to a few ranchers who developed wheat and grains on it. Nonetheless, after dry season struck the land, not a solitary plant has had the option to develop. A large portion of the ranchers left the spot however Jerome's father, Ernest, trusted the land would be green once more. He actually accepts that it simply needs a few water. However, in this world, individuals kill one another for water. In the primary scene, we see two muggers attempting to break into a minimalistic home. Sincere gets them and kills the first. The subsequent mugger attempts to persuade him to spare his life, yet is killed when he furtively takes a firearm out. His child, Jerome, demands he might have made a difference him. The house the muggers were breaking into has an old water siphon that quits working when Ernest attempts to utilize it. With no water left, the dad and child make their way on a donkey to the watermen, individuals who concentrate water from profound wells through an administration bargain. Ernest trades supply with those individuals for water. He has been attempting to persuade them to give him with water to develop a little piece of his territory for quite a long time. In any case, the watermen just do it for the right measure of cash that Ernest can't manage. Coming back, their donkey falls and breaks its leg. Sincere hesitantly shoots the creature dead. The two return home to Jerome's sister, Mary, serving them pack food. In view of water shortage, we see Mary purging the dishes with soil. The next day, Jerome and Ernest visit Sam Lever's bartering house to get something to supplant the donkey who kicked the bucket. There, a mechanical transporter machine called Simulator Shadow, Sim, gets their eyes. Ernest wins the closeout against a man named Flem Lever, who additionally turns out to be Sam's child. Flem is engaging in extramarital relations with Mary, obscure to Ernest and Jerome. The two then, at that point go to meet Jerome's debilitated mother, Catherine Holm. She lives in a close-by emergency clinic where she can walk, while wired to an uncommon casing. Since the edge is excessively costly, they can't bring her home. Jerome invests his energy with his mom that day, Ernest and Catherine say farewell to and isolated. Returning, Ernest and Jerome stop at a corner store. We see Ernest swallow petroleum after siphoning it into his vehicle. The two experience a couple with a youthful child, asking for water. The dad, Robbie, needs to sell the child since they can't stand to deal with he, yet Ernest prompts against it and tells him that he'll assist them with water. Robbie is aware of Flem and Mary's undertaking, furthermore, hints Ernest towards it. At home, Ernest faces Mary about her sneaking out habitually, yet she asserts that it is her opportunity and discloses to her dad that she loathes him. She has a go at fleeing, yet Ernest locks her in her room and ails, her windows shut. One morning, Ernest and Jerome awaken to Sim non-attendances from its shed. Somebody had taken it. Ernest accepts it was Flem and goes to his house, however discovers from Sam that he has left with a truck that morning for the mountains. Ernest then, at that point goes searching for him to the watermen, yet they thump him oblivious. At the point when he recaptures awareness, it is now night. The watermen blame him for taking their supplies. Ernest demands that he didn't take them, however, their chief, Caleb, assaults him. They battle for some time, yet Ernest oversees to get his hands on his rifle and flee from that point. Coming back home, he finds Flem dozing out and about with Sim close by, it is clear that he had taken the machine and the waterman's supplies. Sincere focuses the rifle at him, holds him a prisoner then, at that point attaches him to the machine. He needs to return Flem to the waterman to demonstrate his blamelessness. Coming, Flem offers remarks about Mary, which incenses Ernest. In the wake of strolling for some time, the two of them get parched. Flem convinces Ernest to utilize the water from the waterman's stock. The two plunk down to drink water and talk. Flem then, at that point attempts to persuade Ernest to let he go, and they can share the cash, however Ernest is determined about getting him captured. Ernest is powerless and limp, he obviously can't walk one more mile to the waterman. Flem knows this, so he hits Ernest with a stone, making him hit his head on a bluff. His early advantage is to drain wildly and is thumped oblivious. Ernest awakens to him being tied all things considered of Flem. Flem empties water into Ernest's mouth as he shouts. Afterward, we see Flem show up at Ernest's home in his motorbike to take Mary. She cheerfully heads out to him. 
Sincere actually hasn't been home, so Jerome goes out to search for him. He discovers the machine alone coming. At the point when he arrives at the waterman, they advise him of Ernest's passing. Everybody expects that it was brought about by the machine. In the accompanying scene, we see everybody grieving Ernest's demise at his memorial service. Afterward, Catherine and the children cry in her emergency clinic bed. At the point when they come out, Flem gets them in his truck. After Ernest's demise, Flem has now become the tutor of the family. He quiets Jerome down as he hits Sim for killing his dad. Afterward, he reveals to him that Mary is pregnant with his youngster and that he cherishes her. Jerome acknowledges their relationship. Soon thereafter, Flem goes to the waterman furthermore, converses with them about sending water to Ernest's territory. Caleb snickers at his thought yet gets guarded at the point when Flem faults him for Ernest's passing. Flem additionally shows him a blade with Caleb's name that was found with Ernest's body. Terrified to be charged, Caleb consents to redirect water to their field. Everybody is cheerful when the land gets its first sprinkle of water. Flem works day and night to develop wheat on the land. A couple of months after the fact, they are completely developed. Flem gets hitched to Mary and presently live at Ernest's home with Jerome and Mary. At some point, his dad, Sam, for certain men from the bank moves toward their home, undermining to take the land due to Ernest's obligation. The obligation is a lot for Flem to pay, so he takes the machine with him and approaches his companion Robbie that evening. He thinks about Robbie's expectation to sell his kid, so he convinces Robbie to accompany him, just to perceive how much a child can be worth. Notwithstanding, when they reach there, Robbie figures it out that Flem has covertly made an arrangement with the individuals to sell his child. Individuals attempt to remove the child, Robbie opposes it, and is shot dead by Flem. This causes a shootout between the vendors also, Flem flees with the cash. Be that as it may, the machine, Sim, is shot and harmed. This enacts the auto mode in the machine which makes it return to its producer, Calvin Huyman. The next day, Flem pays the bank from the cash he sold the kid with. Jerome accepts that the cash stopped by selling Sim, so nobody speculates anything. In the accompanying scene, we see Sim limping its way back to Calvin, who lives across the line. Calvin calls the number recorded on Sim and arrives at Holmes home. He converses with Jerome about the machine coming back to him, which shocks Jerome, in light of the fact that Flem had disclosed to him, he offered it to Robbie. Jerome inquires as to whether Robbie sold Sim's parts also, it was by one way or another made to the proprietor, however Flem gets irritated at him for the inquiry and excuses it. Then, at that point, he discloses to them, he will meet as a mother that evening, yet rather he designs to cross the boundary to meet Calvin, the maker of Sim. Afterward, he arrives at the boundary, however the watchman stops him, since he is too youthful to even think about intersection it. A young lady named Anna brings him over and tells him she knows a way he can go to the opposite side. In return for cash, she places him in a vehicle with chickens and sends him over. They meet again at the opposite side and independent. Jerome then, at that point goes to meet Calvin. There, Calvin shows him every one of the capacities of the machine. He likewise shows that the machine's eyes are cameras that were made to catch the slant for reforestation. The camera has caught all that the machine has seen. Jerome plays the accounts and sees his time with Ernest. As he goes through it, he is shocked to see that Flem was the person who killed Ernest. That day, after Ernest had acquired cognizance, Flem attached him to the machine and set its objective to the waterman. The machine had hauled a harmed, however alive Ernest to his demise. Before the finish of the video, destroys roll Jerome's eyes. In the evening, he gets back however doesn't go up against Flem about anything. At some point, Flem and Jerome are hunting deers, after which Jerome keeps the rifle with him, concealing it under his bed for what's to come. At breakfast, Jerome informs Flem concerning Robbie calling him. Flem is shocked and blames Jerome for lying, since he realizes Robbie is as of now dead. Afterward, Flem gets a letter, compassed by Jerome as Robbie. The letter requests that Flem meet Roby at the same spot he has killed Ernest. He is befuddled by this, yet he chooses to see if Roby is as yet alive. Later around evening time, Flem tells a pregnant Mary that he needs to go out to sell something. Mary wishes him karma and requests that he come back soon. At the point when Flem arrives at the spot, he calls for Robbie. As he strolls, he tumbles down a pit and breaks his legs. He lies there calling for help when Jerome shows up before him. Seeing him there, Flem takes a murmur of alleviation also, asks him for help. Be that as it may, Jerome remains there with a stone in his hand. 
Flem understands that he knows all that occurred and apologizes to him, guaranteeing it was only a mishap. He beseeches him to save his life for Mary and their youngster, yet Jerome doesn't tune in. He focuses the rifle at Flem and fires him dead. It has been two days since the occasion. Mary is stressed over her better half, yet Jerome requests that she stand by somewhat more. He has chosen to keep Mary in obscurity about both Ernest's and Flem's passing. Mary proposes they bring their mom home, since they presently have the cash to manage the ringing framework she lives in. The film closes as Jerome eradicates all the video and memory from Sim. Buy in for additional recordings like this, turn on warnings, and pass on a like to help the channel out. Much thanks to you for watching.